Welcome to my video on using Procreate for drawing accuracy. I use this tool to prepare my drawings for watercolor paintings, but you really could use it for any type of drawing practice that you'd like. The first thing I do when I want to begin a drawing that I'm going to check in Procreate is to open a Procreate and in the gallery hit the plus sign at the upper right hand corner and I choose screen size to create a new blank document. Then I select the actions tool from the toolbar. It looks like a little wrench. I select insert a photo and pick out a photo from one of my photos albums. When the photo comes in, you may need to enlarge it. Put two fingers in the center of the photo and stretch it out. Don't drag it by one of the corners because you don't want to skew it. Now you should have your background photo in place. If you click on the layers tool, looks like two pieces of paper in the upper right hand corner, you can see that you have a background color layer and layer one, which is your reference photo. We're going to make an adjustment to our reference photo layer to make it easier to see the layers we're planning to place on top of it. So we click on the Layers tool and touch the little N on layer one. This will open up a window where you'll see the opacity slider. Drag the slider down to about 50% or so to lighten up the photo. We'll be using this same process later on to make our drawing layers more transparent. Now I put down on my iPad and pick up my watercolor paper and make a rough sketch. I usually just indicate where the features will go or um, make a rough outline of the head. Once this initial freehand drawing is done, I pick up the iPad again. On the iPad, I select the Layers tool again and hit the plus sign at the upper right to add a second layer. This layer is going to be a photograph of my drawing so far. To take that photo of my drawing so far, I'll go back to the Actions tool, the little wrench. This time, I will select Take a Photo. To take a picture of what I've sketched so far, I usually place my watercolor paper on the floor. It's easier to line my iPad up over top of it and get the image as square on as possible when I take the photo. You'll click Take Photo in the lower right and then Use Photo if the, you're satisfied with the image. At this point, the photo you just took is a layer on top of your reference photo in the Procreate program. But now we need to adjust the opacity of this photo so we can compare our drawing with the original reference photo in layer one. So click the Layers tool and then the little N on layer two. Layer two is the photo you just took of your drawing. You should see the opacity slider in the window that opens up. Move the opacity slider to the left. I usually take it down to about 70% or so. Now you should see a, a transparent version of the sketch you've done so far over top of your original reference layer. Before you try to move this top layer into position, make sure you select the transform tool. It looks like a little arrow at the top. Now you take two fingers and stretch and move until you line up parts of the image. I usually try to line the eyes up. Um, that way I can compare the other parts of the drawing. I think one of the hardest parts of this step is to release your fingers from the iPad without dragging the picture again once you have things lined up. This is the part that will take some practice. Once you have things lined up, you can begin to compare your sketch with the original reference photo. I can see some places I can, where I'm off. I can see that uh, I need to move the ears to the left and I don't have the hairline as uh, large as it should be. But I want to zoom in and take a careful look at some of the features now. Before you try to enlarge to compare a, an area, 
you need to make sure that the transform tool is not selected. It looks like a little arrow at the top. Once you're sure that's off, you can take your fingers and enlarge the screen. With the screen enlarged like this, it's easy to compare the reference photo underneath with your sketch on top. You can see areas where you need to make changes on your watercolor paper. I can see some of the places that I need to adjust, like the right eyebrow needs to be raised. I need to enlarge that left eyeball and bring the corner, left corner of the mouth down along with some other changes. Once I've made those changes to my watercolor paper drawing, I then put the drawing on the floor again and begin the process of taking the photo and comparing this newly revised drawing with my original reference. To prepare the process of comparing my revised drawing with the original photo, I'll need to go back to Procreate on my iPad and open Layers. I will uncheck the box next to Layer 2, which was the photo that I took of my very first drawing. Now I'll hit the plus sign to add a third layer. This third layer is where I plan to take a photo of my revised drawing on the watercolor paper. To do that, I'll need to select the Actions tool again and hit Take a Photo. I'll hover my iPad over top of the revised sketch, which I've placed on the floor, take the photo, and then I'll need to adjust the opacity again, just like we did on the first one. So I'll click the Layers tool again, and then the N, and move the opacity slider down until I can see my latest photo on top and the reference photo underneath. Now you'll need to hit the arrow, the Transform tool, to make sure you've only selected the top layer. And you'll need to move it with two fingers into position. Try to line up the eyes, the nose, the chin as best you can. It's crucial that you have that little arrow selected. Otherwise, you're going to be moving all the layers at once. You just want to have that top layer that picture you just took of the revised drawing selected, and then you can move it into place. Once you've moved that top layer with your new sketch in place, you need to release your fingers from the iPad and then go back and click the arrow tool so that you've deselected the transform tool. Now you can zoom in on areas, uh, take a closer look at what might still need to be revised. When I zoom in, I can still see some areas that I need to fix, um, like the, the line for the cheek on the right side of the face. I want to fix a few things about uh, the nose, the, especially the right side of the nose. Uh, but most of the things are um, fairly accurate at this point. And I'm willing to call this a day for this sketch and then just go in and put the finishing touches on without needing to refer to this. I got lucky with this one and only had to do two uh, photographs to compare, but there are times when if you're challenged with a drawing, it may take you time after time uh, to do this comparison. So once I am satisfied that the sketch I have is close enough to the original, I'll just be looking at my reference photo on a screen of my computer and making my final drawing marks uh, to get ready to paint. Here's the completed painting in case you were curious. For me, this is the best of all worlds because I get to do the freehand drawing and see that it's accurate before I start drawing and I don't have to take the time to do gridding or um, other methods that might take away from the freehand nature of the drawing. So good luck with this. I know it takes some practice to make it feel natural, but uh, it can go quite quickly once you get the process down.